Air Bear glasses from Pizza Hut. Jim's day started out bumpy. Till Mom gave him grumpy. When Mom cuts my hair, I'm glad Cheer Bear's there. Hi, Cheer Bear. Now the Care Bears are dropping in at Pizza Hut on four glasses you can collect for your kids. Tenderheart and Grumpy Bear, Funshine and Cheer Bear. Two glasses, just 99 cents. Each time you buy any Pizza Hut pizza. Just 99 cents for two. One for me, one for you. Collect all four for your kids at Pizza Hut. All right, today I want to take a look at a iconic line that everybody should know from the 80s, the Care Bears. Now, the Care Bears were originally uh, made by American Greetings Corporation, a division of Hallmark in 1981, and they were originally going to be put on cards and things like that. They became really popular with kids, so American Greetings decided, hey, why not? Let's merchandise the hell out of this. So before you know it, you saw Care Bears everywhere. Uh, they had their own syndicated TV show from 1985 to 1988, their own toy line, uh, there was even a Care Bears comics, and believe it or not, they even crossed over with such oddball toys like the man. You can see here I have a set of four of the most commonly released Pizza Hut glasses that came out from 1983 to 1984. When you bought any regular size pizza, you got two glasses for 99 cents. There were two Care Bears that weren't released in the series, Good Luck Bear and Friend Bear. They weren't released in all 50 states. The first one I have here is Tenderheart Bear, and you can see that he has a heart on his chest and has the orange fur, has the hearts all around the side, and you can see the Tenderheart Bear logo uh, etched in frosting on the, uh, the back of the glass, and you can see his little quote is share some love because uh, the Care Bears were all about acceptance and friendship as were a lot of toys of the 80s. I think that this is something that can appeal to anyone. It was a good positive message. And here I think is everybody's favorite uh, Grumpy Bear. Now Grumpy Bear never wanted to get along with all the other bears and you know he was kind of a party pooper I guess but he was fun. He's something that everybody can relate to especially in a series that's all about sunshine, rainbows, and happiness and I guess not everybody can relate to that. Uh, he says hugs accepted on the back of his glass which I don't understand. I would think a hug would be the last thing that he would want. He'd probably just punch somebody in the face but uh, he's pretty cool and always been one of my favorites because he's very relatable. And next, uh, here we have, I think this is Funshine Bear. And you can see the uh, bright sun on the front of the stomach. And they even have little hearts on their feet, which is really weird. Now, another thing about the Care Bears that a lot of people uh, don't know, and you can see on the back, says uh, Feeling Fantastic, uh, Fun Share bear there um, is that they could like somehow project the images on their chests as like lasers and powers to like spread happiness everywhere so that's why they're on the center um, of the the Care Bears that was kind of what they did and even have the little heart as a nose so they're just like over the top sickeningly cute almost um, and then last but not least uh, we have Let's see, I'm not quite sure who this is, so let's spin the uh, glass around. And this is Cheer Bear, of course, and uh, the lo little logo on the back for Cheer Bear just says enjoy, because he just takes life in full swing no matter what comes his way. It has the uh, rainbow on the front uh, with the pink fur as Cheer Bear is always all smiles and ready for any situation and always ready to make a new friend. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the Pizza Hut Care Bear Collector's Glasses with me today and learned a little something about the Care Bear's toy line. I think they're just as cool and iconic as they were over 25 years ago. So I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag Camille Retro. See you next time.